What's going on, Master Duel fans? James here again. Uh, despite the fact that Training Grounds haven't been doing too well for one, um, we're still not going to go down without a fight. We're going to work harder, we're going to try harder, and we are going to push over the edge until we can't go no further. And that being said, with this hand, it should do enough. So let's see what's up. Ah, yes, Ancient Gears. The fact that they just got new cards from the shop. Let's see if we can happen to find new Ancient Gear cards according to this whole entire list. If I miss out any, comment below. Ancient Gear Statue. Level 2, 500 attack, 800 defense, and I'm going to... Simply get the uh, new stuff of Ancient Gears out the way. All of the monsters are, well, main deck monsters to be specific, are Earth Machine to some degree. So let's just get that out the way. Ancient Gear Statue, level 2, 500 attack, Elder Defense. And statue labeled a UR. Let's see why. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, Free special from your hand once per turn on the special summon this way, so Pancratops on the uh, condition of the clause. And then you contribute this special summon from your hand or deck one ancient gear golem or one monster that mentions it that isn't statue, ignoring the summoning conditions. Okay, that makes a lot of sense of statue being a you are ancient gear tanker and ancient gear commander both level fours for the tanker 1300 both ways and then commander 500 attack 2000 defense tanker being a rare upon no more special special one ancient gear monster from your hand that isn't tanker Ignoring the summoning conditions or if your opponent controls a monster you can special it from your graveyard instead You can target one face-up card you control spell trap included kill it Also for the rest of this turn all monsters you control that are ancient gear golem or mention it gain 600 attack each effect of tanker once Commander as a SR card you can send one Ancient Gear Golem from your hand, deck, or face-up monster zone to the graveyard. Immediately after this effect resolves, put up a normal summon of an Ancient Gear monster. If you no more special Ancient Gear Golem outside of the damage step, you can special one Ancient Gear Golem from your hand or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can banish this from your graveyard, place one Ancient Gear Continuous Trap from your hand face up on your field each effect once and when it comes to ancient gear traps according to commander you got ancient gear duel which we will go over and ancient gear reborn which we already knew about ancient gear dragon being a sr as a level 5 500 attack 2500 defense okay that is way too large for a level five can't be special simple if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are earth machine monsters doesn't gotta be ancient gears by the way smile uh you can normal summon this without tribute when your opponent activates a spell trap or effect of a spell trap as a quick effect you can send to the graveyard one machine from your head or face up or toss out one ancient gear golem from your deck negate that effect so spell trap negate and that spell trap negate effect is once ancient gear dark golem level 8 3000 flat both ways Aside from the name treatment of Ancient Gear Golem from the field or graveyard, of course, 
upon no more special the turn you use dark golems effect you cannot set cards for the rest of the turn the case is upon no more special you can add up to does it got to be exactly that number two cards being ancient gear cards spells and traps included and or gear town from deck to hand that isn't dark golem then discard one hard ones on the uh double search and then just like every other ancient gear things if this card attacks your opponent cannot activate spell traps until the end of the damage step and Dark Golem, being a UR, makes sense. Ancient Gear Advance as a SR continuous spell. Hard once on the activation of Ancient Gear Advance. Upon activation, add one Ancient Gear spell trap from deck to hand that isn't advanced. So it's basically fire formation tanky of ancient gear spells and traps. And then the turn you use its other effect, you cannot set cards in general. The case is once per turn, tribute one, draw one card and apply this for the rest of the turn even if it leaves. You can normal summon one ancient gear golem or one level five or higher monsters that mention it without tributing. And then Ancient Gear Duel as a rare continuous trap. Ancient Gear Golem and monsters that mention it in your monster zone are unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. Continuous effects doesn't stop them. If your opponent controls a monster, you could perform a fusion summon of one fusion monster that mentions Ancient Gear Golem from your extra deck by banishing monsters from your field or graveyard as material, including Ancient Gear Golem. Miracle Fusion, but for Ancient Gears. And if you do that, it can make up to three attacks during each battle phase. Hard once on the fusion summon of Ancient Gear Duel. And with that being said, opponent starts off fresh with the normal summon of Ancient Gear Frame. Frame discarding Yellow Gadget. Legit Ancient Gear Gadgets. And funny enough, they do have an actual card name of Ancient Gear Gadget. Fantastic. So frame, discard the yellow, getting the OG of Ancient Gear Golem. And one field spell set, which by the way, I'm legit convinced that's Gear Town. Foolish goods. Opponent has no idea about what deck I'm playing. Snatch Steel. Normal. Ghost Mourner, Synchro, the brand new honorary wind monster in general being Maple Maiden, level 7 wind for some reason that is a wind, fairy synchro, 2100 attack, 2600 defense. Upon special summon, not synchro summon, special summon, you can declare one attribute, it gains the supernatural effect. Everybody becomes that attribute. You can target one monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Your opponent must send one card from among its ad adjacent monster zones or spell trap zones to the graveyard. Random fun fact, by the way, because the card says your opponent must send, it makes it so that even if they have something that's unaffected by everything else, 
they are basically forced to send that um, towers monster to the graveyard in some weird random janky scenario which to me by the way I find Maple Maiden to become a crazy card if played properly and then each effect of Maple Maiden once 2100 and one set clearly trap trick for wind art miyabi ancient gear beast okay if i was going to be smart enough about this about the um ancient gear player if that ancient gear player is trying to do some uh battle face shenanigans i'm legit convinced he gotta have limiter removal I'm sorry? Graceful Dice? The Joey Wheeler special of Graceful Dice? Graceful Dice in 2024. Let me just say it again to the people in the back because I don't think they could understand me. Graceful Dice in 2024 as a quick play spell roll a six-sided die and based off from the result of the roll all monsters you currently control gain that much stats times 100 if you get something higher than a one you got it One, both monsters crash and pass. I mean, who in the right mind? Graceful dice in 2024. Normal Vidier, Toss Al Godo, Special to Reese, Link's Shoken into Greyfly, and the fact that Greyfly exists, it debuffs the Earths by 400 attack. Miyabi, Tribute Great Fly for putting Gear Town to the bottom instead of destroying it. Oh, and of course, we're just doing some dailies at the time recording that this happens. So, Pilika, Special to Mourner, make win. And that should do enough for the Link Shoken shenanigans to some degree. Win over Silver Gadget. Silver Gadget for Ancient Gear Gadget with its huge 2000 defense. So basically, can't do anything really until we get the uh, powerful cards. Set and pass. Opponent drew. Opponent pass. Drew and pass. Drew and pass. Nope, can't do it. Drew and pass. Was that a uh normal? Yeah, that was normal. Literally. A monster named Ancient Gear, based. Ballista, Ballista Trigger, Fire the Imperm. Clockwork Knight, you're under Imperm. Ballista, you're under Imperm. And then Ancient Gear player scooped.
And this next matchup with this hand, uh, can't do too much. Actually, no, this is a solid hand. This is fine because of seeing the uh, foolish goods. So we're fine. Normal Planet Pathfinder. And Perm the Pathfinder. Tribute. You're under Imperm. Okay, good thing we Imperm the uh, Pathfinder. So that way, no pressure planet, obviously. Power filter in 2024. Let me just say it again, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't think the people in the back <laughs> can legit hurt me. Power filter in 2024. No one can special summon monsters with a thousand or less to Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I lose, man. <laughs> I lose. Oh my god. Ain't no way, man. Okay, can I get out of this mess all from a uh, power filter? Okay, so technically four, well, five main deck monsters can get out of this mess all from a uh, power filter. Two of which I play being Cam and Reese specifically. This is so stupid to be honest. Power filter in 2024. First of all, graceful dice and now power filter. Like, what is this, um, history of random jank all over again? Anywho. Let me see if I can get out of this mess. Foolish goods. Toss out Tailwind. Tailwind. Discard the Eggle, getting the, another Tailwind. Normal the Falco. Hook it up with Tailwind. Trigger it for Cam. Synchro into Sreeze, Sreeze Sync Effect for Cam, and two sets. Honestly, I am shocked surprised about Power Filter in 2024. And to be fair, um, if I would have Never expected to see power filter. I literally lose, but um Yeah, this has been James Polk with the Jank shenanigans be sure to like comment subscribe and share and if you haven't already Smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated and we'll catch you guys next time